Hi, my name is Larry, and this video shows how to upload a SCORM compliant Adobe Captivate quiz to a course in the Moodle Learning Management System, or LMS. And then we'll look at the tracking information afforded by SCORM, uh, SCORM compliant learning objects such as quizzes, and in this case, our quiz will be made with Adobe Captivate. Software used for this video is listed in the panel below. Before looking at the SCORM compliant quizzes, let's have a brief review of what SCORM is and what it means to you and what it means to your learners. SCORM stands for Shareable Content Object Reference Model. SCORM is a data standard that can be summarized by three main features. First, the data model is the set of variables being reported and recorded to the LMS. These variables are entities such as student name, session time, and quiz scores. Secondly, the SCORM API allows different software applications to talk to one another. In this case, the SCORM API allows the quizzes in the Moodle LMS to communicate with each other. Thirdly, the metadata the SCORM, that SCORM allows for can be used to extend the functionality of the SCORM compliant learning object and the course. With extra setup on your part, metadata provides for adaptability, personalization, and discoverability of data. This is not to imply lots of work with metadata is necessary to making SCORM useful. Without any tweaking at all, SCORM can help you keep track of all your students and their performance on any SCORM compliant quizzes or learning objects that you use in that course. For more information about SCORM, check the links in the description of this video. Before exporting a quiz out of Captivate and making sure that it is SCORM compliant, I'd like to see what these quizzes actually look like in a Moodle course. I'll log in to Moodle and enter my course. After logging in, I see the front page of the Moodle site. Now I navigate to find the course I'd like to work on. Here's a course I just made for this video, Adobe Captivate, Moodle, Quizzing, and SCORM. When I enter, I see the content of my course. In this case, just three quizzes that I made for testing this workflow. When I turn editing on, I can see that I can add more content to the course. I'd like to add another quiz. And so I will select Add an Activity. We'll be uploading a SCORM compliant learning object, in this case, quiz number four. So choose SCORM slash AICC. But first, we need to make quiz number four. And for that, we'll go to Adobe Captivate 7 and make a short two question quiz. Begin by creating a new blank project. These project dimensions look fine. Let's make the first slide be a title that describes the quiz. Now to add the quiz questions. Let's add a single multiple choice question type. And while we're at it, let's add a true false question type. Captivate adds new slides to the presentation. One for each question we just added and one slide at the end to summarize the quiz results. Now type in the question, then type in the answers. And dial in how many answer choices you want for the question. In this case, I chose four. The same idea goes for the second question. Type in the true-false question statement. For each question slide, the Quiz Properties panel allows you to make adjustments, such as removing the Next button from a question slide. Now let's save this Adobe Captivate project. OK, with our question slides built and our Adobe Captivate project saved, we're almost ready to publish this quiz so that we can upload it to Moodle. But first, Let's go to the Adobe Captivate Preferences and look to see that some settings are the way that we want them. First thing you'll want to do is go to Quiz Reporting and make sure that reporting is enabled for this project. 
After that, select the LMS you're using. We're using Moodle. Be sure that the SCORM standard that you select is SCORM 1.2. And if you hit this configure button, you'll go to the manifest for the SCORM settings, which is even more metadata that you can add in for your project. Next, go to the quiz settings preferences. And here you can rename your objects. I'll say quiz number five, because that's the quiz number I am on. And um, objective ID, this is more metadata for the SCORM environment, interaction ID prefix. We can drill into these later. But for now, all these uh, settings as default are OK. We're just adding in our metadata here to make things better for us down the road. Um, last place we want to be in these preferences is the project information. Here you can add uh, the author name, company, email, website, more descriptions, and really that's it for the preferences. Everything else is OK. So the project is saved, the preferences are set up, and now all we have to do is output this in a way that Moodle can use. And so we want to publish our project. Choose Publish. And we want to make sure the Swift slash HTML5 is selected. Um, it will default give the title of the project the same title of the project file here. You could change it if you wanted to. You tell it where you want this folder, uh, the save folder to be. All these uh, settings have already, we've already played around and set the settings that we really care about here. These are all fine. Um, the last thing to do is to, um, it will by default have a Swift, which is Flash, checked for your output. However, if you um, uncheck that and check HTML5, you'll get a little bit better compatibility for these quizzes because they'll operate properly on devices that don't play Flash or Swift files such as um, any of Apple's mobile products. So uh, quizzes work pretty good in HTML5 and Captivate, but you always want to check to make sure that your interactions behave the way that you expect them to. And in this case, we're going to choose the output option of HTML5 and make sure that the zip files box is checked. And uh, that is all there is to it. We hit publish. And I get a little warning because I'm using um, a demo version of Captivate 7. I ignore that. Um, and the file already exists. Do I want to overwrite? Um, no, I've already done that but that publishes your file and so once you've published you're ready to leave the Captivate environment and go to Moodle and upload what you published into Moodle. Before going into Moodle let's take a look at the two files that we just created with Adobe Captivate 7. Here we see the .cptx file that is the application save file from Adobe Captivate it only opens up with Adobe Captivate it's for Adobe Captivate. We published this .zip file and that is the file that we're going to upload into Moodle. And um, I also changed this to quiz number six as opposed to number five because I had already uploaded number five into Moodle and I wanted us to have a fresh look at uploading a new quiz into the Moodle environment. So it's the same quiz just a different number in case you're wondering. Those are the two files that we just made with Adobe Captivate. The .cptx is for Captivate, and the .zip is for Moodle. Here we go. Now I go back to my Moodle LMS and locate the course, which is right there. Here's the course. And I would like to add I would like to add the um, quiz we just made. I will turn editing on and this allows me some new controls while we wait for my kind of slow connection right now. Okay and then we'll go to add an activity like we did earlier and we'll go to the SCORM slash AICC like we did earlier. Um, we know that we have a SCORM object that we want to um, upload in this case it's a quiz. When we select that, it generally brings up a dialog box. There it is. And we'll call this 
quiz number six. But mainly here we want to, this is where we choose the zip file that we just made. So this is the package file and this is where we choose the quiz. So click this button right here, choose or upload a file. And then a new window will likely pop up. You might want to resize it so you can see the contents of it a little bit better. And uh, here we could add quizzes that we already have in Moodle, but we don't have this quiz. We want to upload it to Moodle. So select upload a file. And then when you do that, you will be asked to choose the file. And here we uh, want to navigate to wherever that zip file is that we just published from Adobe Captivate. Well, here it is. So I select that and select open. And the file has been chosen and now I will upload it to Moodle. There is our zip file and we can now choose that zip file. So now that it has been chosen we can see it listed here as the package file for this SCORM AICC object. And uh, these are other settings that we really not do not need to get into, uh, but you know, just think, uh, like maybe if you want to give the learners unlimited attempts, a lot of settings here, but um, not important necessarily for um, SCORM settings. We're just going to look at this quiz. So let's just save and display. So click save and display. Okay, and so this is the quiz, and uh, let's look at it within the context of the course. The course here, um, while we wait for the connection to display, see, we can see all the, uh, all the quizzes that I've added to this course. So let's go ahead and take the quiz we just added. And um, here's the quiz, and we'll enter it in normal mode. This SCORM API activity log debugging interface keeps on popping up as I make this video. Um, it's a setting I need to be able to disable this window to pop up, but I can't figure it out right now. So just keep in mind, I'm going to have to close this activity log over and over as things happen in the course that get reported as SCORM activity. So on the one hand, it will be an annoyance. On the other hand, it will remind us when Moodle is reporting SCORM information. So here is the quiz we just made and I will select D. That is a correct answer so I would have to go back into Captivate and fix that. SCORM debug. Um, Adobe Captivate can output SCORM compliant quizzes that are HTML5 compatible. That is a true statement. We'll submit that SCORM activity log. Um, very simple quiz. Um, so that's what it looks like when you take the quiz and um, go back to the quiz. And uh, now that we've taken it, we see that we can view reports for one users. And that's me. I just took it. So we'll go and we can see who took it, um, what attempt it was, when they took it, uh, the, the date and the time and um, the score. I got a 50. So let's look at it. And um, this is the title of the quiz. Um, we did not complete it. I didn't hit the last button. Uh, score, time, track details. And uh, we've got a lot of information here and this is um, a lot of this is due to the fact that we saved it as a SCORM object. So these interactions are interesting, uh, show you things like latency, how long did the user take to answer the quiz question once the slide started. But this is the data that you'll be um, collecting by using SCORM compliant quizzes within the Moodle environment.